hi everyone welcome back to my channel I'm going to be making some more cards from my scrapbooks today and I've chosen a purple colorway uh, just because I had a couple of scraps that looked like they would go nice together and I'm going to use some glitter silver washi tape as well just to add a little bit of sparkle um, I like greys and silvers with purples I just think they're very pretty and I'm just hunting through my die cut boxes. This particular box is where I store all of my labels. And I have a little think about using some of these, but I don't actually go with the pink in the end. I decide just to keep it as kind of like white and silver and purple and not add that fourth color in. So then I'm going into my white die cut box and I find this little um, Moroccan trellis pattern that I had in my uh, die cut box. So I believe that's a Spellbinders um, background die. I think it's called Moroccan trellis or Moroccan background, something like that. And luckily I had added some double sided tape to the back of that. So um, it was really easy just to peel the backing off. And I found these little flowers in my die cut box and I decided that I'm going to use them. And I want to add a little hint of pink because there is pink in the background but I don't want to make it like a massive feature colour. So I find this really pale pink um, ribbon. It's like a rick rack that's got glitter in it. And I just like the little sparkle that that brings in. And now I'm looking for some silver gems to stick in the middle and I decide these glittery silver ones are really nice and go with the glittery washi. They're slightly darker but I don't think it matters. Um, I tried to stick that ribbon down with that ultra stick glue but it doesn't work so I just decide to add a couple of the glue dots. I don't really have any tape that's thin enough and because it's rick rack um, it's not in a straight line so glue dots seem like the only option really that wouldn't show. Um, so I'm making a smaller flower with a smaller gem in the middle and then I have that little leaf and I just bend it in half and I just kind of shape it with my fingers just to give it a bit of dimension and I use some stardust stickles just to like give it some faux leaf vines uh, vines, I mean veins <laughs> and I add in some white gems in a row those are from the range I believe and then I'm having to think about a sentiment and I decided to go with a thank you peel off just to bring in some more of the silver and just pop that in the top left hand corner and that's my card finished come out very pretty and then for my second card I'm going to stick with the purple colorway and I have a couple of scraps left over from the previous card uh, unfortunately as soon as you cut a piece of card it's like a bunny and it multiplies <laughs> so um you can start with one piece of paper and end up with 50 very quickly. <laughs> so anyway, I found some um, strips that go with the offcuts of the pattern that I just used. So I'm just going to make a border out of that. And I've just backed my card with that thick double sided tape. That's just to save me a lot of faffing around with glue. Um, you do have to be really careful placing things down though and make sure that you line them up properly because double sided tape is very forgiving to lift up. So if you would rather use wet glue and give yourself a bit of time that's probably a good idea. Um, and then I decide that this background looks quite busy and it's going to be difficult to find something to put on top. And I try that grey and it looks quite grounding but um, it's not big enough so I'm having a look for something else and I decide that I really like this white and silver so I just trim that into a panel and that kind of calms down the background for me um, because it's kind of semi opaque and I use this ultra 
clear glue I think it's called ultra stick I got that from Hobbycraft and I was really annoyed when I bought this glue because I thought that it was precision tip but I'm actually really glad that and it was totally a happy accident because it doesn't show behind this um, semi-transparent panel and I've been looking for a glue to do that for ages so I was actually squealing when I came back the next day and saw that it doesn't show through <laughs> and that's my card finished as always guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon bye <laughs>